Good morning, ocean. Look at this. This is where I slept tonight, right beside the ocean. How about that? Not every Manitoban can say that in the morning. Hey, oh, yeah, no big deal. Whatever. Just slept beside the ocean tonight. Whatever. No big deal. We are uh, in Bonaventure. Quebec. We're about an hour from our destination, our last destination in Quebec. From here we have one drop in Nova Scotia. It looks like we're going to be dropping it on Monday. And then from there, make our way to the ferry. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about with the ferry, Newfoundland is an island. It's a province of Canada. Uh, it's called Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, Newfoundland is the island. Labrador is uh, part, it's sort of, it's on the mainland by northeastern Quebec. So it's Newfoundland and Labrador. Let's not forget about Labrador. But we're going to Newfoundland, the island, and it's an eight hour ferry ride to get there. You go from North Sydney, Nova Scotia, chugga -lugga, chugga -lugga, chugga -lugga, chugga -lugga, across the ocean, eight hours, and you land in Port Obasque, Newfoundland. And then it's about an eight hour drive or so across the island to the other side. And it's very interesting there. It's a unique culture in Canada. They do speak English there. But in my opinion, they sound Irish in their accents. They have like Irish accents mixed with a little bit of Scottish maybe. And throw in a little Canadian in there, eh? So it's really hard to understand them because they talk really, really, really fast. But the houses they have there are very unique because they're like bright colors, like bright yellow, bright blue, bright red. And it's like fishing is a huge industry there so everyone's a fisherman and there's tons of moose there's more moose on the island than people and it's a pretty huge island if you look at it on a map it takes eight hours to drive across it probably about the size of Jamaica I think I'm gonna have to research that one I'm just guessing I have no idea wild guess Jamaica is just the only other island that I can think of right now I really want to go visit Jamaica are any of you from Jamaica I know I have some Jamaican followers in there I know you're in there I want to come visit you Driving down the highway, delivering some freight. Down and up, down, down, down and down. So this is still Bonaventure, Quebec, Canada. We're way on the east side of Quebec, above New Brunswick, on a map. We're not too far away from New Brunswick, actually. We'll be going into New Brunswick later today. Shout out to Kat. You live not too far away from here, probably a couple hours. That's a bright blue house. Very nice. Very nice. Well, that's actually purple. All right. Purple house. You want a purple house? Do it. Free country. You can paint it pink if you want to. Why are you parked in the middle of the road? That's not very nice. Put your four ways on, driver. Alright, looks like we're getting into the downtown section of Bonaventure. Bonaventure? Wow, that church looks like it's brand new. Yikes, they take care of their stuff. Okay, so these are Acadian French. They got the flag of Acadia on that church there. I just did uh, the periscope from the Gulf of St. Lawrence. If you haven't seen it, you can go on periscope and uh, look up that uh, periscope. It's sort of like a live vlog. All one take, one ev no editing, just live and raw. So I've been talking about this the past couple of days. I'm assuming you've all gone to Periscope already and found Trucker Josh vlogs on there. Uh, my username is Trucker Josh 456 all one word. You can easily find me there. Uh... I'm going to be doing little live vlogs like that. I'm going to try to do them every day. We'll see if I can uh, manage that. Just sort of like a scenic thing here. If I see something interesting, I'm going to show you guys live, right? And sort of a little, uh, a little special thing for you guys. Uh, it will be out of sequence with the vlogs. So it, 
don't get confused guys it's just a preview of what's to come so remember when you're on periscope it's a preview of what's to come in the vlog in the following week i don't have a choice with having these vlogs a little bit behind uh, it takes time to edit them upload them get them on the internet and uh there are other reasons it's part of my contract and whatnot that i do yeah wish it could be different but that's the way it is so in to give you guys a special treat i've decided to do periscope go ahead me there so i've delivered here this guy came out and helped me unload didn't speak a word of english like not even like a little bit that's okay we use sign language we pointed point there point at that point at that i know say bon say bon yeah we oui, say bon mm -hmm. oui say bon mm -hmm. merci beaucoup merci beaucoup mm -hmm. say bon say bon that's all i that's all i really know but it was enough and uh Oh man, it's bright out here. Oh, shoots my eyes. So, uh, you know, Quebec has got some serious pride. I was talking about this in the Periscope a week ago there. Uh, you know, and you gotta love them for that. You know, I don't speak their language here. I am not Quebecois. I'm not a Quebecer. I am not a foreigner, but I'm a guest in their province, right? This is still my country. What I don't like is when they say that I'm a guest. No, 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 it's my country. But they have some serious pride here, and I like that. Like, Quebecers, they are proud of Quebec. You see Quebec flags flying everywhere. And you know, I always talk about this, right? Because I'm like, why would you fly a Canadian flag too? Because they are so proud of being Quebec. Sure, I would like it if they would recognize that they are also a part of Canada, but this is the way I see it. If everybody would have that same pride of the country that Quebec has of Quebec, we would have one amazing nation flags flying everywhere some serious national pride we had like you should be proud of your country but in order to be proud of your country you have to know the history anyways enough of that let's drive some trucks let's drive some trucks let's just drive this truck actually it's not drive trucks let's drive this truck i already let the boys out run around and then i went out to the to the beach to periscope a little bit and yeah, now we're headed to Truro, Nova Scotia. It's going to take like a full day to get there, I'm guessing. We're way out here, way, way, way out here in Quebec. But uh, one thing i got to compliment Quebec on is they maintain everything. Like all of their buildings here are really, really old. This is some of the oldest settlements in North America here. Yet they look brand new. I'm not even lying. They look brand new. Especially their uh, the cathedrals and their uh, parishes. Like The French are mostly Catholic, so they're Catholic churches. They were built probably when they first landed here, like hundreds of years ago, and they look like they were built yesterday. Like they really take care of their province. That's what I mean, some serious pride out here. Say bon. I wish I spoke their language. I mean, I will never be a Quebecer because I don't, it's not in my bloodlines that I'm, I'm not French. But I would, I love enjoying their culture though. And you know what, Quebecers? You got a good thing going on here, you know? bothers us sometimes that we can't communicate that we always got to be so different all the time but you know what keep doing what you're doing just don't leave us just stay with Canada please stay with us you belong here you belong with us
Nova Scotia. You guys excited? Nova Scotia. Why are all the flags at half staff again? Every other day. I've noticed all the Quebec flags are at half staff. Sometimes they leave the Canadian flag right at the top, but the Quebec flag right beside it is at half staff. Why in the world would someone do that? What happened? Never know. I'm trying to find a Timmy somewhere that I can park at. I passed two already, but there's no parking for me. It's hard to give you my money when I can't park my truck anywhere nearby, you know what I mean? I want to give you my money. Need a place to park. We are crossing from Quebec into New Brunswick. We're also losing an hour to the time changes as soon as we're across this river. Arriving at Boulevard Interprovincial, on right. Very fancy bridge. I've been here several times. A couple times. A couple times, several times. Whatever. We're halfway over. Welcome, everybody, to the province of New Brunswick. The only constitutionally bilingual province in the country. It's very special. The northern half of New Brunswick is French, southern half is English. And they're mixed up in between. Alright, I gotta go this way. Because I don't want to go right through downtown. Good thing I've been here before, so I know this. How oh, diddly, guys, how oh, diddly. We're just here at the Irving. Irving, we're gonna buy some clean diesel. Because nobody likes dirty diesel. We're gonna buy clean diesel. Hear that, diesel? They don't want you. They want the clean diesel. Hey, man, it's not very nice. I'm not dirty. Yeah. How's it going, Sergeant? Ready to go for a run? All right, we've gone for a couple runs already. Gonna put some fuel in the tanks here. We're gonna head down to uh, uh, around Moncton area, I think. I know there's a really good truck stop there that we can stop at. I don't know if I'm gonna stay there or not though. I'd like to go to Truro, but I mean, it's only two hours away from Truro and I can do that on Monday morning. I can just get up early and do it, but we'll see. These boys are getting impatient, so am I. Look at that sunset. Let's look at it without the bugs, how about that? That's a New Brunswick sunset. I just quickly ran in here. I had to get cash for the toll road. You have to pay 15 bucks to get into Nova Scotia. So I had to go get money for that. Got water for the dogs. Got all set. We're gonna go to Truro yet, or at least closer to Truro. Uh, we're two and a half hours away right now, and I want to get a little bit closer yet. I only have to deliver on Monday, but I don't want to sit all the way out here two and a half hours away when I have the hours and I can legally get closer. So. I'm going to quickly periscope this sunset here yet, if you guys saw it. Right on. Other than that, I will see you down the road. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. If you followed me on periscope, you saw it already. Well, was it a good day, Diesel? Was it a good day? Oh, it's a very good day, man. Very good day. How about you, man? How about you? Oh, yeah, you're tired. You just went for a run, didn't you? Oh, you ran all over the place. I could hardly keep up with you. Pulling me around everywhere. I'm going to teach you some manners, man. Pulling your master around. He was kind of rude, man. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to lie, man. I wasn't going to say it myself, but he was a bit rude. Anyways. I'll see you tomorrow anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time, guys. Don't forget to go down below to the description. Click all the links. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also find me on Periscope where we can hang out in real time. I will see you.